So much going on right here, but we have to get into this chat. And it's all about what's your drive and what's your favorite car. Allow me to reintroduce my guest. It is Trev. You know, when I shared the poster on my Instagram stories, a lot of people were saying, well, Monique, this is so good because people thoroughly enjoy your TV show. Thank but you. before we get into um, the other stuff you like to do, we know you love music and you have great taste, especially when it comes to cars. It's like I, I joke about it all the time. I say, well, nobody's looking at what you're driving. We're all trying to get to where we need to get. Um, you're seeing a lot of people uh, bring out their cars over the weekend and that's where they get to enjoy. Um, and um, I've seen someone here talking about uh, the reality is you want a good fast car. You want to spend, but the roads seem to let us down every single time. Yes. Um, is it a thing um, and is it f- difficult for car enthusiasts to enjoy their cars uh, on a typical work day? You know, you've mentioned um, you get to a certain point in life, it's a status symbol, you've spent on it, you've fueled your car, but where are you going to drive on these streets? It's one of those things. Um, you get your dream car. Yes. Where are you going to drive it? A difficult question, but like I always say, I'm an optimist and I look at things from you know that perspective of being an optimist. Right. Now, most African countries, when uh, we got independence, Right the colonizers left a blueprint of our cities, mm. right? So they knew that in the next 20 years, the population would be X amount. So we need to develop, you know, a city that's bigger with bigger roads and things like that. But because of neglect and so many other things, most of these things were undone, mm. all right? So fast forward, like in Kenya right now, uh, six months ago on Mombasa Road, mm. there was nothing, you, you know, there was usual traffic every day. Yeah. You'd encounter, you know, two hours in traffic, mm. you know. But now with the development that's happening, it means that the pressure on the authorities to build such roads right. to accommodate the new cars. Because remember, people are buying cars every single day. And an interesting fact is in Kenya, we import about 100,000 vehicles every year. This is every year. You don't say? Yes, 100,000 vehicles. And if you add the new cars and the new, because it's a mix, if you do the new cars and the used cars, it's about 20,000. Mm. So 20,000 is for the new cars, 100,000 is for the green imports or used cars. So that number of vehicles multiplied by the so many years that we've not done anything creates traffic, creates all this um, backlog that you can see. Mm. That's why the government is pretty rushing to you know, build, you know, highways and, 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 and bypasses so that you can ease traffic because at the end of the day, the country needs to move. And mm. people, if people are stuck in traffic, it means productivity is low. Mm. That's why we need these things. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic with the next couple of years, we should see people able to be able to enjoy these cars. Right. However, times were different in the 90s. The roads were neglected and things like that. Hmm. Now you can drive your Porsche 911 on the Southern Bypass. <laughs> you just wait on a Sunday when there's no traffic. Right. You can drive it. No, it's a, it's a good mood. And I love your attitude, Trev. Like, I love, I love the way you... I love the way you speak on things, and I like um, the way you view life generally. I'm not the only one. Uh, there's a tweet here for you. It's uh, from George. He says, I like this guy, Trev. I'm his fan on KTN Home. Loads of info you get from him. Thank you so much, Monique. Enjoying the show on the Spice Drive. Yes, getting you home with big boy Trev. And um, it's not the only platform you're on. Um, I shared you on Instagram. I'm following. I'm stalking, by the way. I'm just. It's just cars. It's just cars everywhere. So your show is a huge hit even with the ladies, um, and uh, it's all about cars. Tell yes. us about your show on KTN Home, and you also have uh, a beautiful platform in the Standard newspaper. Tell me about that. Yes, thank you. Um, so I joined um, the KTN family um, about a year and four months ago Yes. Um, with a show called Cars of Big Boy Travel. It's the only motoring show in Eastern Central Africa. No, no, no. Say it again. Say it again. It's the only motoring show in Eastern Central Africa. Yes. Love it. And and it talks about all aspects of motoring. Right. We we don't segregate. We do everything from tractors to you know uh, small cars, big cars, anything that has an engine and it moves, mm. we are there. Mm. And we've divided the show into a couple of segments to make it easier for our audiences because we speak to an audience. Mm. So we have new car reviews. So people who want to buy new cars, there's something for them. 
if you want to know about the used cars that are coming into the market, right. is a Demi a better car than a Toyota Yaris? You know, there's a segment for that. There's technology. Now, cars are coming in with so much technology. Mm. Like I was mentioning earlier to one of your producers, we were talking about Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Mm. So basically, you can plug in your phone into your car's audio system and it becomes an extension of you. And so many cars are coming in, including the gray imports, right. with this new technology. So we have to speak about that because people are getting these brand new technologies in their cars and they're wondering, how does it work? Mm. So we are there as well. Then there's road safety. For us, road safety is one of our biggest pillars because um, as a country, you know, we lose about 3,000 people every year right. on, on road accidents. Mm. So it's a matter of telling people how to drive safe. So, for example, we've just gone through the Christmas period. That's when there's a higher number of accidents on our roads. So we tell them, listen, how do you drive in the night? How do you drive in the rain? How do you drive safely for ladies? So, for example, if you have a flat tire and mm. it's at night, mm. how do you... Uh, get to a safe place where you can change your tire or call for help or something like that. So we are inside there. And finally, we also talk about the market. We believe, we believe that Kenya exists in an ecosystem where we have a voice in Africa. Yeah. So everything that happens. So for example, um, we started seeing many companies coming into Kenya and investing, setting up factories in Mombasa. Um, the other day I was in Mombasa just seeing what Simba Colt was doing with Mahindra. And there's a new product that's coming called Proton. It's going to be the cheapest vehicle in the, in the market. Right. At about one million bob. Mm. Those are the kind of things that we're talking about. Talking about things that affect Kenyans. Our young population, they're getting jobs because you have so many people who finished campus or college mm. and they're able to get jobs. Now, this kind of investment attracts those kind of people. So we want to talk about that as a way of giving back to society. So yeah. that's the show in a natural but we also fun we do road trips we do quite a number of things nice. um and, and 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 we try and inspire that younger generation that's coming behind us and speak the language speak to the people about cars mm. and maintenance and so much more wow i like the sound of that and you write as well yes i do every wednesday um i do write uh on the motor digest it's two pages similar concept yes. but now from a writer's perspective because Actually, when I started doing cars, I started yes. writing. Nice. Yes. So writing is my strong point, actually. And so I do write also about different brands, um, the market, strategy, um, and, and, you know, things that affect the common motorist in our country. So there's that column. And also appears on the Nairobi, and I think on Friday. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you why you're going to get even busier. Because you're going to be here every Thursday. Yes. Talking about everything and everything about cars. <laughs> Thank you. So, you're going to be everywhere schooling us and helping us understand these things, the ins and outs of the industry and, of course, car culture in Kenya. And, of course, East Africa, a lot of people can see, um, and around the world, of course, you're on YouTube. Yes. And uh, the content is available. Yes. There's a lot of questions on these things. And um, you sound amazing on radio. I could talk you. to you all day. Yes, we can have conversation about cars and everything else. Um, um, but it, 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 it's a good platform because it's a new one, new venture. Right. We reach more people because people listen a lot. And you can also find us on our different handles. So CBBT yes. underscore TV, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, um, Instagram. Nice. We are there. We are all there. Nice. Yes. I'm going to be following and sharing um, these links and the pages you can follow. Yes, he's that guy on Spice of MKE. Can you see him looking all fancy? You remind me of Rick Ross and Ruben started together. I don't know. You give me those vibes. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, you know, for a man like you, who is all about cars, who sits on the passenger side of your car? Are you single? Uh, who are you driving home? I, I prefer driving Trend. solo. You ride so I know <laughs> it. I know. I mean, it's just cars all over your Instagram. So I scroll through and I'm like, where's the lady? Yeah. So so you ride solo? In the car, yes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I'm, I can say so. I can say so. <laughs> I can say so. <laughs> uh, okay.
Okay, Trev. Yes. You know the fact that you're going to be here um, every every single Thursday. It means that we're going to warm up to each other, and you're going to tell me one of these days. You'll Definitely. give me an answer to that question because I know the ladies want to know. And of course, you can plug in with all your questions. Uh, another one here saying, uh, "Thanks, Monique and Trev. Excellent knowledge of cars and the motoring industry by this fine gentleman. Isn't he something? Sugar spice and everything nice. That's a guarantee. And uh, you know, I, I I cannot say you know I know much about cars, but um, I love the fact that there's someone here to school me on it. Um, first, of the, one of the things you have to know is, is just how to drive in this city, um, how to make it on time, how to plan your commute. Um, and of course, you've got tips and pointers for the ladies as well. You do fun things. So it's going to be a beautiful journey here on the Spice Drive. Um, before I let you go, yes. and I know we're going to be here for a long time. We still have the results for that record rumble we need to yes. do. Um, I have a topic here. Mm -hmm. And it's all about the wife and the girlfriend. Yes. And I've seen lots of comments. You've heard the caller. Uh, somebody even said, why do girlfriends get, you know, uh, to be, why, why, why are they perceived this way? What are the qualities that differentiate the wife and the girlfriend? From, uh, from my perspective and where I sit. Yes. Um, the wife is 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 I, i'd like calling her the chairman mm. she's the one who gets the cake mm. all right she's the person that you've established to be your anchor in your life so from your plans um getting kids being the person who can take care of you and your kids mm. that's that's wife mm. you know mm. somebody you aspire to grow with mm. um to old age right however we don't live in a bubble mm. all right and I don't you bust that. that real quick. Yes, <laughs> yes. Like. We don't live in a bubble, mm. and many people, uh, you know, have their own reasons for having girlfriends outside. Yes. You know the setup, mm. and I think many men get, you know, bored. Yes, for lack of a better word, bored. You know, you can't eat beef all the time. E you know, yeah. and for lack of a better word, and 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 I'm not being abrasive as such. However, girlfriends just offer a different perspective. Um, as compared to say your wife mm. you know for example so they you know they still bring the spice into your life mm. in case you just forgot about spice in life the girlfriend is there to do exactly that to bring back that spice right a lot of people probably would get their extra girlfriends when they are in their mid 40s and there's mm. midlife crisis when somebody's trying to right be become a kijanamze as you call it <laughs> you know so that's it for me that would be the reason why but the mm. qualities would be um they're looking for something that they're not getting from their wife mm. yes and all of them have something to offer then uh, you know I, I i see different layers of this topic and i'm going to get into another question that came through then why is it then that girlfriends aspire to be wives if this place Wifehood is a boring spot. Mm. You said Kijana Mze trying to eh, add some spice and yes. zhizh. And he gets into this space. Is it best to just be a girlfriend then? No. And stick in that area it's where it's more fun and spicy? It's a case of looking at the, it, the grass is greener on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Right. They don't know the hell that people go through when they're in marriage. Right. Hell or you know, good stuff. I'm, I, I can judge on that. Yes. I think that when your girlfriend mm. is looking at being your wife because they see that you put extra care yes. in the family. You have to make sure that your family is well taken care of. Yes. You do stuff to your wife, something that she can't get because she's not formally recognized in that whole mm. aspect. You know, mm. That's why you see the number of cases of uh, you know, girlfriends saying, listen, I don't mind being your second wife. Right. And it leads to that. Simply because they see that, you know, the wife is being getting all the attention, you know, all the love is there. The, and the privileges. Is, the privileges are there. Mm. And you're just a girlfriend. So you take like an umbrella, it rains, you go outside, use the umbrella. When you're done, the guy get is back in, back, back in the house. And there's no uh, worse torment than not being able to be with your person every day. So you, you're told, listen, I can only see you on certain days, you know, and they want the privilege to be with you the whole time. So it's big boy trev i love him already i don't know about you i'm going to be sharing handles hey and i'm seeing lots of comments on here too much love for my special guest it's 5 p.m i've got a dm on the way what a show spice up your life
The Spice Drive with Monique. Spicing up your drive.